Good afternoon guys. Um, so this morning I was in a rush and I didn't really tell you that I dyed my hair. It is a blondish color. You can't really tell in the camera, but I promise you it's way yellowish in person. And so I'm going to do like a cooking with me and my mom slash and get ready. A cooking with me slash and get ready that I did this morning already. So we're making pasta. And usually what me and my mom do is put water in here and we put salt. The salt helps give the pasta taste because believe it or not, it makes a huge difference. Because I've tasted like pasta without like putting salt in the water while the pasta boils and it tastes disgusting. Like salt makes a difference. I need flavor. I need flavor. So right now there's just water in there. And I'll show you guys what we do while it's boiling and then when we put the sauce and everything in it. So stay tuned. So now it's boiling and we're going to put the pasta in. And we're using shell. And we're going to stir them and let them sit until they thaw. Do we have a wooden thingy? Thank you. Just like that. So all the salt and water can be sucked up. So my mom blended some garlic and basil to put in the pasta when we put in red sauce, which we're using this one that we bought from Sam's Club. It's tomato and basil. I don't, I actually add seasoning in it because I need flavor and it's not doing enough for me. So now we're going to keep stirring and watching it and we're going to test it and then drain it when it's all soft and ready to go. Okay guys, so a tip I have for like pasta is that when it is in the bag, it's very small. And then in the water, you can see it is has expanded because it's sucking up the moisture. So like I kind of tested it already, and it's still a little bit hard. But like in like five minutes or so, it's gonna be ready. So like that's a tip. Like just wash the size, and if you see it, like as it grows bigger, that's when you know that it is ready and like soft. It's ready. So now we're gonna drain it. And now we're going to work on the sauce. You put water over it? Mm -hmm. I never do that. Oh yeah, you're right. Tip. Tip from a mother. It's to keep your pasta from sticking in the colander, put water on it. You said this is garlic and basil? And basil. Why do you do this? I can taste it. Basil, uh, garlic, it's good for you. Oh, garlic is good for you guys. Yeah. Mm. That little, um, um, I don't know if everyone Maggie. knows what this is, but Maggie's like po pollo. Polo. Chick it's chicken seasoning, basically. All the Caribbean and Spanish people know what that is. And then we're gonna put butter in it because I don't wanna use oil because oil, fat, yeah, just not. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Is this enough? What I had? Oh yeah. Okay, so um, not everyone does this, but my mom started putting like pasta in um, not pasta, mayonnaise in our pasta like 
three years ago and were obsessed with it. You think it's disgusting, but it honestly, honestly makes your pasta more creamy and it tastes a lot better. And it like lightens it up. I don't know. I like light pasta and not dark pasta because it looks pleasing to me. I don't know. I'm weird. And now we're just combining, trying to get all that sauce. We're gonna stir. This looks nice. This looks like Christmas. Okay, so now we're gonna let it boil for a little bit, let it get hot, and then we're gonna add the pasta that we just drained to it. Yes, you heard me correct. We're going to add the pasta that we just drained to the sauce because we like our pasta like that. So my mom is a little bit different than me and she puts mayonnaise while the pasta is in there. But I like to put all of the like wet ingredients while the sauce is cooking all in together. So I'm going to use this for. Now if you don't like mayonnaise, which I don't at all. You can still eat it. Like, trust me, it, is, it makes a huge difference in your pasta. Like, it tastes so good. Like, the sauce is good. The pasta is good. Just overall. Oh, and I don't eat my pasta with meat. Like, if I'm out, I will. But, like, at home, I don't cook it with meat because I was a vegetarian for nine months. So, like, I mostly ate carbs. So now every time I make pasta and like sometimes my mom is like me and she doesn't put meat in it. But yeah, I'm it trust me pasta, you will be fine if you don't have meat in your pasta. Like it tastes exactly the same. Especially if I make the pasta, it tastes bomb because I've been cooking, like I said, nine months like without any meat. So I know how to make it in a way that it'll taste good. Now we're adding what is that? We're adding cayenne pepper because me and my mom like spicy stuff. Well, at least I do. So now I have to add cayenne pepper to all of my pasta. Otherwise, it's not good. Because it was like blue, 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 while it was there. I didn't want it to do that. For some reason, the garlic and basil I taste the most. Like I can tell it was like blended. I mean, I sh I'm sure it'll taste good when the pasta is in. I don't really care. Because I eat some pasta. Mm -hmm. Factory cheesecake, it was blended with um, my mom thinks she's garlic. a chef now. Every time she goes out and she learns a little something about how them people cook their pasta, she brings it back home, and then all the way from, from now then it's made exactly how they did because she's obsessed. Mm. Any other tips on how to cook pasta well, mom? But every time you can mix your thing, that's people who cook, they, they just use them brain. You use your brain and do that on stuff. Hmm. But yeah, I literally make my pasta the exactly the same every single time. Because I just like it that way. But yeah, so now we're just going to let it sit for a little bit. And we're going to keep stirring. And then I'll show you guys when we're done. And now voila. it's ready to eat. <laughs> My mom is so cute. Yeah. So we're, we're going to eat. And I'm going to be real Italian. And eat it with this bread. And my family is like obsessed with Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese in it. So thanks for watching guys.